Bone fractures are a global public health issue. In 2019, about 178 million people suffered from some sort of bone fractures. That sounds painful. The risk of a fracture increases with age and is greatest in women. Fractures can lead to work absence, decreased productivity and even disability. And apart from medical care including plasters, one of the most common remedy is popping the sunshine vitamin that's vitamin D. These supplements are widely recommended by medics around the world to prevent bone fractures in older adults but do they really help? According to a new study published in the New England Journal of Medicine, vitamin D may not be the shield as it is thought to be. About 26,000 adults were part of the study. Researchers tracked people given either high dose vitamin D or dummy pills for 5 years and the results showed no particular advantage. And not just people who suffer from a fracture who are prescribed the vitamin, a lot of people are popping them to keep their bones healthy. There's a lot of advertisement about vitamin D and a lot of people get tested for vitamin D and they find that they're low and the natural thing to do is to take vitamin D so that you're no longer low. Well, I, these trials have shown that even if you have low levels, vitamin D doesn't help. So that means then people should not get tested. And if they find that they're low, you have to think twice, vitamin D is not going to help. Vitamin D makes your bones and teeth stronger. It also has anti-inflammatory properties and it helps build immunity. What happens who don't get enough of it? Your bones become fragile, you feel fatigued, your muscles start twitching and you may also experience muscle pain. Vitamin D is being prescribed and popped by every second person. Influencers are recommending vitamin D for skin care. Family WhatsApp groups are making a case for vitamin D in post-COVID-19 care. Medical stores are selling vitamin D supplements as essentials. That same study of nearly 26,000 also found that popping lots of vitamin D pills did not prevent heart disease, cancer or memory loss either. So clearly, it is time to consult your doctor before heading to the pharmacy to buy them. So let's now take a closer look at the business angle of all this. The global vitamin market that was around $1.1 billion in 2020 is now expected to reach $1.6 billion by 2025. That is a 7% growth. But clearly, the new study once again showing that vitamin D may not be the elixir that many think it is. But perhaps it is wiser to rely upon supplement from animal sources or even better to get it from sunlight which is easier for the body to absorb.